Hey there, I want to take a minute to talk to you a little bit about tummy tuck and what I do in tummy tuck surgery that's different than what other surgeons do. So in my practice, there's two main differences between what I'm doing and what 99% of plastic surgeons are doing. The first is pain control. I talk to patients a lot about Expril. It's an injectable anesthetic. This medication lasts for three days. And the way that I, that I inject the Expril is I do surgery, elevate the abdominal skin, and then look where the nerves are coming out from your abdomen and inject right at those points with this medication. Medication lasts for three days. And you can see on the, my Instagram page and a few other places, multiple patients who say that with this treatment, they wind up with a pain level zero to one out of 10 on post operative one through seven. This is remarkable. It's very different than what you've heard before from tummy tucks. A lot of patients will tell you that if they had a tummy tuck before without Expro, it was worse than their C-section, it was incredibly painful, they were laid up for days. This new medication revolutionizes the treatment of pain with tummy tuck, and my patients are taking between three and five Percocet pills in the entire post-operative period. We also use a hybridized CBD-based product to help with pain and to keep it low, but a multimodal approach to pain is key, and that's very important because this is cosmetic surgery. And let's face it, it really shouldn't hurt. Um, the second thing that I do that's very different than what other surgeons do for tummy tuck is I use sutures on the inside in order to take the skin from the abdomen and place it back down to the fascia below. This helps to recreate the natural anatomy of the abdomen the hills and valleys, the linea alba and the linea semilunaris, which are the lines that shape the tummy. This does several big things. The first is cosmetic. It creates a better natural cosmetic result. It's not one of those tummies you've seen that's pulled flat like a board that looks silly. Um, the second thing it does is it gets rid of the space between the skin and the fascia where fluid can accumulate. That being said, if no fluid can accumulate, then I don't need to use drains. I do not use drains in my tummy tucks. This is very different than other surgeons. The third thing that it does is when we're putting in the suture, we're actually pulling the skin under tension. So we pull it under tension, put a suture, pull it under tension, put a suture. That means that all the skin from the abdominoplasty is pulled under tension. And when we close in the bottom where the panty line is, there's no tension. Tension is what creates a bad scar or a wide scar or a raised up scar. So if there's no tension at the site of closure in the abdomen, in the panty line, you don't wind up with a bad scar. You wind up with a simple, very fine incision that's very well hidden. I can show you several patients that are darker skinned, African American, Hispanic, where you would think they would have a bad scar. And because of this technique, there's no tension, there's no scar. So to recap, sutures on the inside do three things. Number one, better looking result, natural result that looks like your tummy moves with you and looks like an abdominal uh, wall should look. Second thing, gets rid of the space, so no fluid and no drains. Third thing, makes the scar better at the closure site. This sounds too good to be true, but it in fact is true. And there are only maybe a dozen surgeons that do it this way. They all train in the fellowship where we teach our fellows. Um, if you want to see more information, I've written three articles on the subject which you can find available on Google, Google Scholar, and you can see 700, 900 patients where we're showing better results, less risk of seroma or hematoma, so less risk of complications, and overall a great outcome for these patients because they don't need drains. The risk of seroma, which is fluid collection in patients with or without a drain, is like 2%. So why treat 98% of patients that don't have that problem with a drain? In my mind, it doesn't make sense. So the two things that I do that are different, number one, pain control. This is cosmetic surgery, shouldn't be painful, so we use Expirel. Number two, sutures on the inside, which we call progressive tension sutures, to get rid of the space or fluid, make a better cosmetic result, and prevent a bad scar from happening. These are, again, big differences between what I do and what other surgeons do. If you'd like to learn more, come check out some of the photos on the Instagram page and on the website. I'm happy to talk to you a little bit more about tummy tuck and some of the other advanced techniques that we use in our practice.